to get into a motor car, it's the modern world. Um, I'm not saying we can't, we, can, we should never stop getting into motor cars. All I'm saying is that every time we're getting into a motor car, we're paying a little price, and that little price adds up with all the modern things that I use and get used to and that enter my soul and that I admire and that I value. I've got to be careful with how I admire the things of the modern world to make sure they don't get in between me and God. So, um, can we be surprised if the 70s, 80s, 90s, the society began, began in the 70s with a marvelous, a real man of God, the Archbishop Lefebvre, a real man of God. He had his failings. Don't let's idolize him. Don't let's make an idol of him. But he was a real man of God. He had the, the, all the essentials were in place. He stuck to the religion of God, and he understood the modern world. He understood this, this, uh, all of this in depth. He learned it at the seminary from his great teacher, Father Lefloc, and he uh, uh, taught it to the youngsters. And the youngsters, and here's the problem with the Society of Christ the X. The youngsters all went to seminary. These, these young men of the, of the 70s and 80s, they went to the seminary, and they sat down on the benches in the seminary. Ooh, Archbishop Lefebvre, Echo. Ooh, and they sat there, and they they learned they, they everything they learned, and they wrote it all down. They wrote it down in notebooks. They they learned by heart their notebooks. Archbishop Lefebvre, Echo. Ooh, 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 ooh. And then they came out of the seminary. We are the best. Ooh. I'm caricaturing, I'm making fun, obviously, but there's that side to it. And then, then the Archbishop died. He was, as long as he was there, he kept reminding people, and he, and he, held, it, he held it together, like Pius X held the church together in the 1900s. Archbishop Lefebvre held the society together for as long as he lived. Because he was a charismatic figure, he was obviously a man of God, a deeply Catholic man, Everybody admired him. Once they'd understood what he was about, everybody admired him. But once he was dead, well, then the world began gnawing away again. G-N-A-W-I-N-G. The, 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 this huge, this total environment, which had been the environment of these, these, these good youngsters, these good young men, before they went to the, the Archbishop Seminary. The glamour <coughs> of this as the Archbishop wore off, his teachings... Well, yes, but, and so little by little by little, the, the society, pre the leaders of the society began to slip, and, and so the society is now going the way of all flesh. It seems to me, it's, it so stands to reason, it's so understandable, it's, uh, that it's, I don't know what to say. I, in French they say, tout comprendre, c'est tout pardonner. So if you understand everything, you forgive everything. There's, a, there's some sense in that saying. And if you understand, you know, I mean, the world is really rather nice. The modern world is really rather nice. Hey, these leaders of the society, gosh, yes, they have a point. Um, do you know what? I think I might, well, might as well tomorrow or the day after become a liberal myself. After all... <coughs> It would make life easier. I, I, would, I, I wouldn't have to swim against the current so much any longer. You see the temptation? The temptation is very easy. The world, the flesh, and the devil. The religion of man, pride. The religion that fits the modern world, the world. The, 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 world, the, 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 the world, the flesh, the devil. The world, all around us. The devil, pride. Man-centeredness as opposed to God-centeredness. The flesh, well, we know what, where that is all over the place today. So that's where perhaps the society is coming from. What's the solution? Well, the solution, Sol Solzhenitsyn said, and Dr. White loves quoting Solzhenitsyn, <coughs> Solzhenitsyn said, the division between good and evil does not go between this power block and that power block. The division between good and evil does not go between this party and that party in this country. The division between good and evil does not go between my friends and my enemies inside this party. The division between good and evil goes right down the middle of my own heart. And therefore the solution to the problems of the modern world is what I am going to do about my own sinfulness. That's the start. 
And what am I going to start? How am I going to start? Prayer, of course. But remember always the old proverb, a pray but keep rowing to shore. In other words, prayer, yes, but also my own effort. Pray but keep rowing to shore. Otherwise, if you, run, if you just sit in the boat and do nothing, you're going to drift away from shore, you're going to drown. So you pray, but then God, the other proverb says, God helps those who, sell, who help themselves. So what are we going to do besides praying to help ourselves? Well, that's, that's another discourse. But it starts with ourselves. It moves on to our family, which is the importance, perhaps, of what we're doing here these few days. And only after that, only, the person, if the person in the family, if I am responsible for a family, I look after my own soul. I look after my family, and then I will see what I can do to hold myself and my family against <laughs> this, in this total environment of today, which is, which is not good. And it's not going to get any better. And it's going to perhaps come after us uh, and persecute us. And uh, Father Voigt says, we better prepare for martyrdom. And I'm, I'm not sure that's right. I basically agree. Uh, God may not ask us to be martyrs, but he may well. It's going to be all or nothing. And since I'm no longer in the pulpit, then I think I can sing it. With me, it's all or nothing. And if you remember the old song from Oklahoma? <laughs> Uh, no half on half romance will do with God it's all or nothing and that's the bottom line and the 50s is it was a half and half romance with God and God said that will do and he punished us with the 1960s and with the, with the collapse of the church and now he's punishing the society because there are not enough priests not enough laity in the society who recognize that with God, a half and half romance won't do. It's our problem. God bless. So we'll then just have a, we'll do a few minutes break and then we'll have it at 10.15, 10.15.